This video is sponsored by EA. Although I wasn't paid to capture any of this footage, I was part of a group that had exclusive access to capture the footage. So thank you very much to EA for sponsoring this video and inviting me to the remote capture event. Hello Battlefielders, my name is Addison396 and today we've got some pretty cool, at least I think it's pretty cool, footage for you guys. Like you heard in the disclaimer there at the beginning, we got invited to a remote capture event for Battlefield 1's Turning Tides DLC. We got to play two maps and we got to play a few rounds on each map. I've got a little uh, breakdown here, content breakdown. I've not been asked to read any of this out, but it says please note the following details of some change, and I think it's actually a, a pretty good summary of what we actually did. So I hope you enjoyed the little montage in the background, and let's go on with the summary of map one, which is, oh, excuse my, uh, my terrible pronunciations here. I just know they're terrible, so yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to try and hide that fact. But map one was Conquest Assault on Cape Hellas. Cape Pelez, which lies at the foot of the Gallipoli Peninsula, was the main landing zone for the Anglo-French amphibious operation on April 25th, 1915. Under the covering fire of the Royal Navy's guns, the British 29th Division was to storm the beach, overcome the stunned Ottoman defenders and seize the dominating heights of Achibawa. However, the Ottoman defenders were deeply entrenched on the cliffs and at the top of the hills. Concealed machine guns and artillery from behind the walls of Fort Said al-Bahar opened fire on the landing parties, who were slowed to a crawl by barbed wire and knee-high water. Boats were blown out of the water, and the survivors were forced into cover on the far side of the beach, where a few combat-ready platoons were finally able to establish a front line. So here's a montage of the best clips and interesting things and cool moments that happened during the games on this map. Stay tuned and straight after this we will see the second map.
The second map that we played was Achibaba. The heights of Achibaba Hill dominated the Gallipoli Peninsula and were prime objective for the landing allies. The Ottoman defenders had dug in around the village of Krifra and prepared camouflage machine gun and artillery nests. From the heights, the defenders could direct their fire on the landing zones, and every attempt to seize their positions would be an uphill struggle against an entrenched defender. For Sir Ian Hamilton, commander-in-chief of the Allied Expeditionary Force, the hill, with its slopes reaching towards the Aegean and the Dardanelles, represented the major obstacle on his way to success, and he ordered several infantry attacks to seize its crest. They all failed. The hill remained in Ottoman hands at the cost of several thousand allied casualties. So a few final things before we wrap up. The weapons. There will be all new weapons in Turning Tides. The, the elite kits and melee weapons weren't available for testing in this build unfortunately. And we also, as you can probably tell, we're in a white box environment. So this, this capture event featured what we call a white box environment. In other words, the map, its buildings and other structures do not have their finalized textures on them. This is a rare opportunity to see a map in early development and comment on the, its flow and gameplay experience, which we got to do a lot of. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much feedback they asked for and how much they took a note of it. Um, they asked for surveys after each round, they asked for surveys after each uh, map that we played on when we moved on to the next map, they asked us to fill it in a survey for the map we just played on. And then at the end there was a big, big, huge discussion that lasted quite a while, basically clarifying our positions on things, asking us to, to state what we thought needed changes and how it would be better, and hopefully all of that would be taken into consideration to make these maps the best that they could be. So again, I just want to say thank you very much to EA. Um, it's just It was just a really cool experience overall. And obviously it's nice to have some exclusive footage for you guys. Thank you again to uh, all the people involved and who thought of me uh, to invite me to this remote capture event. And I'd love to do something like this again in the future. To you guys, my audience, my viewers, thank you very, very much for your time that you spent watching this. If any of you do happen to share it, you know, leave me comments or likes and things like that, you know it really does help me out, so thank you very much for that. It's all really, really appreciated. I'll leave you guys with another little bit of a montage on this final map, and I just wanted to say again, thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in my next video.